Welcome to New York University, Casa Italiana Zarilli Marimo. It's a great pleasure to welcome you for the New York premiere of Il Nostro Ultimo, our last. Um, our friend Francesco Andolfi, who is a member of the theater company residence here at uh, Casa Italiana, Kit, uh, proposed to us to present this film. And uh, of course, we uh, jumped on the occasion to present a new film made by a very young cast and crew. Um, the director and writer of the film is Ludovico Di Martino. He should have been here tonight with us, but he's not. But we have the fortune of having with us one of the two uh, co-protagonists, Guglielmo Poggi. Please welcome him. The film is a low-budget film. It's one of these small miracles that sometimes happen. And it has already uh, won uh, the Ferrara Film Festival and the best foreign film at the Miami International Film Festival in July 2016. So we are very excited to see it with you. It lasts about 90 minutes, an hour and a half. And after that, uh, Francesco Andolfi is going to uh, moderate the Q&A with uh, Guglielmo. And if you have questions or comments, they're welcome as well. Enjoy the film. Thank you. I am Francesco Andolfi, and um, before we begin, just a slight um, parenthesis. Guglielmo and I go back to the high school days. As a matter of fact, um, he got me to get into the first acting class that we both ever took. And after that, I came here. He stayed there. He works there. I work here. We do these things. We try to keep working on. And that's just to say why I am moderating this uh, Q&A. Yeah, there's a, there's a history there. Now, um, Guglielmo Poggi, as we were looking at that, we, before it was mentioned that you won the award at the Milano International Film Festival for this production. Now, they were nominated for other, uh, other awards as well there, right? Yeah, and you're the only one that... Yeah, I was the only one to win uh, the prize there in Milan. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit, uh, you know, <laughs> this is the biggest thing ever happened to me to, to be, you know, to be here and talk in English to you. I beg your pardon for eventually if, if I fail in, in talking in English because it's <laughs> my English plus the emotion to be here is, uh, is going to be terrific. Well, uh, anyway, um, I have to thank you uh, before everyone else, and then Stefano, Francesco, Julian, that is up there, and Casa Italiana, uh, Di Marimo at University, New York University, for the opportunity to be here and talk with you about about the movie. This is just to thank you. <laughs> and about that, now we are going to open the floor for a Q and A. Uh, if you have any questions regarding anything about the movie. Silence. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, oh. there is here, Johannes. What was, uh, oh, what was the budget for the movie? Okay, second question. You, you erased the second question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, n now I'm gonna say something that mm, is true. I mean, it, it's not a fake. It's true. Uh, the entire budget for the movie is forty thousand. Forty thousand dollars. This is Euro. euros. Uh, let's okay. Uh, 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 probably, if if you know about cinema, y you know that a movie, a low budget movie, um, is one million of euros is considered low budget. So if you think about forty thousand dollars, is like um, paying thirty euros to to I don't know here in, in America is the same. So um, you have to. You have to think about this movie for it. If if you think about this money, uh, you have to think that no, n nothing you saw in the movie was legal when we when we did it. N nothing really. No, no. It could seem to be a joke, but it's not. I, I mean, uh, um, nothing was legal. We could not uh, take the the coffin uh, on, on the on the car. It was not legal. If if a real police guy. So us, 
probably we, we were in jail and I could not be here uh, tonight. So uh, yeah, it's true. And um, and there are a lot of good things uh, doing uh, as a little um, little production because uh, <laughs> it's funny. And now I'm gonna tell you a real thing happened. Um, we shot in Reggio Calabria. I don't know if, if there's uh, is there any Italian here? I, uh, okay. Reggio Calabria and, and you know all the zone um, and the, the policeman who, who stopped us is really a policeman and um, it was only the man it was also the man who um, bring us to the to the places in which we shot in the movie okay so the the wonderful thing was that um, he stopped the Salerno Reggio Calabria you see Salerno Reggio Calabria is one of the longest the uh, highway yeah and he stopped really uh, physically all the cars so i think there was like one hour delayed for i don't know how many people because he with the motorbike said okay no problem i'll think about it and he stopped an entire thing i mean if we were a real production that could never happen because otherwise we were in jail as before so it was a uh, it was cool you, you you did have a lot of problem but anyway i don't know if in the movie you see that but as, at a certain point, I start to be covered entirely of um, bolle, I don't know the, the word. Uh, Rashes? Yeah, because like at the middle of the movie, we, we uh, slept where we could. Obviously, we didn't have a hotel or something like that. So there was a house in which I slept. And probably there was a um, acaro. Um, uh, Bed bugs. Yeah. And so... <laughs> Let's figure out that every morning, two hours uh, of makeup, and there was the makeup artist that would say, why did you do that? Please, I could uh, host you in my bed. No, this is not possible, I, I told her. But it, it w So we had a lot of problems. Uh, 40,000 euros is, uh, is uh, not a big amount of money, as you can. Well, also two of the actors that were used for the movie our relatives of Guglielmo, the mother of the whole thing, is, is my mother. The dead one is my, is my mother. And also, <laughs> this is why we are the same person. If you see us at the end of the movie, one of the uh, possible final uh, scene is that the one who is looking at uh, Fabrizio at the, at the end is me, but it's also my mother. We are the, the really same face. And the other, the other actor is my uncle. The Uncle Hugo in the in the in the movie is my father, so <laughs> yeah, because we didn't have the money. So <laughs> who's gonna play? <laughs> Dad, mom? Okay, come here. I was like, yeah. So yeah, that's what happened. Uh, and 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 a funny thing is that my mother always told me, I really thank you because uh, you made me uh, do this this journey through all Italy in the coffin. I really have to thank you, really uh, appreciate that. Really, thank you very much. Yeah. Anyone has he? Yes. <laughs> run, Francesco, run, swim. I would like to know what inspired you because it's quite an unusual story for such a young man. Usually young people don't think about, you know, death or the death <gasps> of their parents and and don't really focus on on such a type of story. And so what inspired you? Thank you very much. Um well, before all, we we think a lot about death uh, a lot. A lot of young people nowadays are thinking about that also cuz um it, the the original story is uh, for sure we didn't I mean we didn't go with the the car with the coffin but um, Fabrizio's mother real mother uh, is ill and um, and so um, the story is 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 funny because at the beginning of everything it this was a short movie um, we we shot this short movie uh, two years before we before the the, the entire movie. The feature film, and um, we had the coffin. 
because Ludovico, the director, had already shot a movie with, with the coffin. And so Fabrizio thought, okay, let's pretend that my mother is dead. What would like to, what she would mm, have liked, has liked, to, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and she, and he told us probably she would love to, to go to the seaside as uh, her last will. And that, it, that was the start of the whole thing. Then when Ludovico had the short movie, he thought, okay, we're not gonna screen the short movie because this could, this could be my first feature film. And um, all together, me, Fabrizio, and uh, Ludovico started to write the movie, and, and then what you, what you, use, what you see is, uh, is the product of this work. We, uh, we worked on it for one year because the really difficult thing was to, how do we start? Also, because you have to think that Ludovico was also the producer of the movie with his own forces, and he was 21 when he, when he directed this movie. So if you think about it, it, it was not so easy. But we had this idea to, to talk about death and parents' death in, um, in a sort of way that is probably, I, I don't want to say terms that I don't know because it's English, but um, it's, it's not usual because you see two young people who really don't know how to relate with this big thing. My character, uh, mm, Seem to be uh, seems to be not so interested, but then you see that is missing her mother probably more than the other one, or at least the same. Is just that he doesn't know how to <laughs> to tell her because she's passed, and and that that was the the um, the worst thing. Because if on one side it was very funny to sh to shoot the movie with my mother, because at the scene that you saw in which she is laid on the bed. At the rehearsal, she was laughing like, <laughs> and I said, please, mom, I have to do the scene, please. Please, really, it's difficult. I have to cry or something like that, please. On one side, it was very funny, but on the other, to think that in that coffin there was my mother for the entire thing, well, it, it was not so, <laughs> so happy. And then after two years, uh, something bad happened in my family, and to watch the movie now is not the same. I mean, I, I was really as the character. I didn't know how to relate with that thing because di that didn't happen. And nowadays, I am pretty sure that I could not do the movie in, in that way. So I'm very happy. Also, the, the change of the hair was, was to build a character that really doesn't care about anything, while the other one cares too much. Nowadays, could be not possible anymore for me to to do it in in this way. I'm doing a lot of jogging today. <laughs> no, I was just wondering about the camera work. I mean, this the camera work, the uh, the scenes, everything, uh, the, the action scenes, the scenes along when you're riding along the the edge of the sea. It, I mean, it was so. Great. I mean, and forty thousand euros to do a picture like that. I mean, you must have had some really great people uh, doing that. I, I tell you something. Th thank you very much. Before all, but uh, I thank you. Some. I, I want to tell you something because this is uh, funny and, and not so funny <laughs> on your side. No one was paid for the movie, and um, all the cast, all the crew, and. All, all the um, Technicast, I don't know if, if you use it uh, here. But all the crew is from 18 to 27 years. All the people who worked on the on the movie. Um, we, uh, Martin Scorsese told to, uh, uh, wrote um, a letter, an open letter to her daughter on Vanity Fair or something like that, in which he, he told to her daughter, well, you know, um, now to do a movie is simple. Because you have these digital cameras, you have uh, the luck to be in a world in which you can do whatever you want with uh, not too much money. But on the other side, you have the problem that you have to talk about something that is interesting. And that for you is important. Because on, mm, the, the problem is that you have a lot of people that is uh, that are video makers, filmmakers, directors. But they sometimes they don't know what to say. Uh, 
we uh, had the luck to to um, shot with uh, Red Epic, that is a wonderful camera, and then to to work with uh, a mm, great post production because a lot of people believed in the project. Also, the post production, um, we paid not too much money because they told us, okay, we like the movie, so we can make a special price for you because we didn't have the money. And so uh, they did a, a wonderful word, uh, wonderful work. If you see uh, the seaside and if you see that blue color that is um, so <laughs> relevant for all the movie, uh, that is the real blue that we saw in Costiera Malfitana and something like that. But is uh, is wonderful because nature helped us. <laughs> we we shot in, in really beautiful places, and if you think about the the. Um, the moment in, in Costiera when they when they eat the the pasta, well, we eat the pasta. <laughs> we were the same characters. Um, you 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 see those places, wonderful places, uh, and there are in a lot of movies, but you have never seen in that direction because the the director is from there. He was born there, so he knew perfectly the the zone and. That part has never been shotted before. We we know this. There is a question. Another. Thank you very much. I hope I answered it. Thank you. Was this movie shown throughout Italy, and how well was it received? Uh, oh, you want to answer to the to the to the question? Sure. No, 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 no. Because you you told me that you're gonna say okay. No. Well, we had. Um, Another bad thing: we don't have distribution because we uh, we are not stars. Me and Fabrizio we are not uh, movie stars. So when you are not a movie star in Italy, you are not able to reach cinemas. So we don't have the distribution. But Nanni Moretti, that is an important director, uh, an Italian director, that uh, has a cinema that is Nuovo Sacer in Roma, in Rome. He um, he decided to host the cinema, the, the the movie at his cinema for two uh, for two nights, because he thought, okay, this is a movie that probably people should see. And every time we do um, a screening in Rome, we are sold out, and all the people at the end claps and 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 they th they say thank you, and and sometimes they say, why don't you? have a distribution and it's hard to explain why but it is uh, is impossible on the other side of the the mm, we have a we have an occasion a, a big occasion to show this movie to a lot of festivals we won a lot of prizes to the day after tomorrow i will be in new jersey because we are at the new jersey film festival in in, um, in on screening and we hope to win the prize and whichever uh, help me with this. Whichever mm, festival chose us, we have always won. Uh, this is a lucky, mm, a lucky thing. We was uh, we were chosen in four, or five festivals, and we we won four, or five festival. I won as the best actor, best male performance uh, at Milan. But the f best feature film is a prize that we had in four occasions. So we're happy, and and we are so happy to. I want also to to say hello uh, by by Ludovico and Fabrizio because they were so excited to know that uh, this is happening. Because is you know when when we started to think about the movie, we were not able uh, to think that even could be edited all together, because we we had the problem that in some places we could stay for four hours and then we have to go away. And uh, we thought, okay, this is not possible. We will never do that. So to think that we are in New York City uh, screening the, the 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 movie is incredible. I, I could not sleep tonight. <laughs> well, if, one question um, from my part. Uh, I remember you telling me uh, there the, they had been. How long has this movie been projecting? Like when was the first uh, the first final version that you came up with the one that i saw a few years ago uh yeah two uh one or one year ago one year ago um so i wanted to ask him this because i've seen that like 
it was after that the movie started being seen that it received progressively more attention mm -hmm. from the people. Now, to besides, I presume that there it has to do with the, with the work. But why do you think people were willing to start believing and supporting you as they were being more actively participant of your? Well, is is. Probably because uh, in Italy it works. I don't know in in, in United States, but uh, the passaparola. I don't know in in um, uh, word to mouth. Yes. What happened uh, in Rome, particularly, was incredible because a lot of people said, uh, w "Wow, uh, we laugh, we we cried, and we didn't know. I mean, we just mm, saw the trailer on Facebook because we didn't went to." Uh, we didn't go in any television or something like that. We just had Facebook. And uh, <clears throat> with the awards, what happened was that people said, okay, say to your friends that this is, this is not something that I'm asking because are my friends. I mean, we re I really appreciated the movie, so come to see the movie. And a lot of people uh, believe in this. Because what happened, I'm a musician too, so I know that uh, in Italy there's this problem that you have to bring your friends to the concerts, otherwise they don't allow you to, to play. But in this case, it was different. In this case, people really said, I'm not asking you this because they're my friends. It's really a movie that I want you to see. And at the end, this is what happened. Nowadays, there are people who are asking us, how can I uh, see, how can I watch the movie? And we have to probably that we don't have the cinema to, to, to screen it. So we g give a lot of links because there's the Vimeo uh, link, but it's not the same, I mean, to see on, on a screen or, or, or in a cinema, it's another, another quality and another experience for me. I thought there was a question. So I, I just want to thank you. I thought it was a beautiful movie. It was so moving. The performances were fabulous. The, everything about it. Where did you meet? Did you meet in film school, the three of you? Or okay, it's, it's interesting because with Fabrizio, that is the other character. Uh, we have known each other for, help me, uh, 10 years or something like that. Middle because school. Because we lived... With also th that guy that is behind you, and uh, Francesco, we we lived in the same neighbor neighborhood. neighborhood I'm sorry, <laughs> same neighbor is a person, or yeah, or, yeah. Person. no, we didn't live in the same person. We, <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, and so we we have known each other for a, a, a long time, but we didn't know about the other's uh, profession. I mean, it was something that we discovered at the same school because. Um, I, I shot the movie that was my third year at school, and both the director and the main actor were at the school at the first year. So uh, we had this idea together, and we and we thought, okay, we have all of these young people in the school because all the people who worked on the uh, on the movie are uh, students. So they thought, uh, we thought, okay, we can try to say to these people, okay. When are you gonna be known as slave in 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 a in a movie production, but a man who really uh, is responsible of something? And they said probably uh, ten years from now, because in cinema the career is pretty long. Not as an actor, but uh, if you think about a, a director of photography, it's it's impossible to to be the director of photography of a movie uh, after one or two years of study. You have to wait ten year, ten years, and then maybe they're gonna give you the, the chance to to make the, your first movie. So uh, they 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 thought, okay, this this is an occasion that we don't wanna uh, lose, and this is why they they work for free, because to stay one month or more than one month uh, working every day, nine, ten, eleven hours, also because it was not legal, so we could work however we want and. Uh, and so they, 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 they thought, okay, this is, a, this is a good idea. And there was never, you know, a, mm, a moment in which we thought, okay, uh, this, is, this doesn't value or this is, uh, 
this is not what we want to do. Uh, the, the good thing was that probably we didn't believe that we could do that, but uh, we never th thought this is not what we want to do. This, what you see is really what we try to do, and I think we, we could do that because of the work of people who really want to work. Because if you have this energy th through the, the, the old movie, is because young people who really want to do a movie uh, are, in, are coin, coin, coin volte, are involved. involved. Yeah, I missed the last word. Oh, oh a lot of questions, wow. First of all, thank you very much. <laughs> Sitting next to you and having you chuckle through the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> was a, an added plus. Obviously, you enjoyed it. I'm your sorry. <laughs> and I want to know what, the, as a group, do you have a plan going forward? Or you're not stopping here, obviously. So what do we all have to look forward to? What's next? Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, the question is complicated. <laughs> no, I mean, um, we love to work each other uh, because it was wonderful. But on the other side, the problem is that work for free is complicated because, I mean, no, really, he, he lost because he knows that. But it, the problem is that I really have to pay my bills and I'm an actor and I just act for a living. Uh, with Ludovico, that is the, the director of the movie, we have a lot of projects together. Uh, I write with him. He, he, anytime he has uh, the occasion to do something, he always asks me, okay, please come, we have to talk about that. And, and I say, Ludovico, please, it's, uh, it's midnight, let me go to sleep. But he always wants to know what I think about a thing because uh, guess that during the old movie, we took the screenplay and we, um, I don't know the word. Ripped it. Ripped it. Because every day there was a new um, thing that had to be changed because we didn't have the money to, to make the scene as we thought. So we had to write it again. And we improvised a lot. And this is something that he doesn't want to do anymore because he says, uh, after three years of uh, studying at the National School of Rome, of, uh, of Italy, because we studied at an Italian National School, he learned how to make a real movie with um, big money. So he, he thinks, okay, this was the beginning, and I will always use you and Fabrizio as actors, and I will try to work with the same people forever, but uh, if there's a, a big production that asks me to make a real movie, I hope that I can pay you, but you're going to be the actor and I'm going to be the director, and it's not this anymore. Uh, this is sad on one side, but on the other side, uh, what is happening in our life, I'm happy to, s to say that, is that we're, we're making it. I mean... I, I, I'm an actor, I'm, I have other experiences, he is working. Uh, one of the reasons why he, he cannot be here is because he couldn't pay the entire bill uh, to, to stay here and everything, but he was working, he's working also in this, mom in this moment because he's editing something that he has to do. And, uh, and so it's, it's like a, a goodbye, I mean, w we hope to work together but we don't know when, because to make another movie is complicated. Just one thing that is curious, and, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, probably two or three years from now, uh, he wants to be the producer of my first movie as director. So <laughs> he wants to find the money. I hope not 40,000 euros, because otherwise I don't know how can we do that. But uh, I think that we will probably um, work together other times, I don't know how. Not in this way, because he doesn't want to work in this way anymore. And probably, for some reasons, I can tell you that he's right, because this was a massacre. Yeah, no, really. I, I didn't think it could be so hard physically. I, uh, I mean, after one month of no sleeping, uh, eating, mm -mm, because you eat in places that are wonderful to eat, but 
hours that were not possible. So a lot of time we had our parents to prepare sandwiches and something like that. Because <laughs> and so, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard to, to shoot a movie in, in these conditions. I, I hope that for next projects we, we can be more lucky. <laughs> Where can yeah. we see you next? Oh, uh, okay. Isn't there a movie somewhere, at some point? I hope that the, the movie that Gabriele Muccino um, shot that was uh, Summertime is gonna be screened here, but I'm not pretty sure about that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an international movie. It's a both American and Italian production. And I, will, I have a, a small role, but it's funny. <laughs> and. Uh, and then there's a, the dream to, to join you here or Los Angeles or something because I, for sure, we, we New York dream. is better. New York is <laughs> We dreamed, of, I mean, we dream about come here to do the job in, which, in the place in which this job is a real job. Because in Italy, it's not a real job. We don't have a syndicate. We don't have uh, any kind of... Uh, my parents, for example, they are actors and they don't have in their IDs they don't have uh, their profession. They are free professionists. Freelancers. Freelancers. We don't, we don't, we are not a category. I don't know here, but probably here you have on your ID that you are an actor. We are not, and we're not represented. We have a lot of problems uh, to have money um, when we retire. And, uh, and this is why it is so difficult to, uh, to be an actor in Italy, otherwise, I think is uh, also complicated to be an actor here. And I have two of my best friends that mm, tell me every day their difficulties. But it's a dream to to know that they are here and they do th the same job is incredible. I if you think about it, this this year he won the the best uh, male performance. The same month I won the 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 middle best performance the word and so we were like uh, wow we're doing the same the same journey and and this is this is wonderful this is the the best thing uh so i i can tell you if you come in italy you will see a lot of things in which i, I in which i play but otherwise we have to wait for <laughs> the next well, even though this might have been a massacre, it stands, the work on its own stands for what it is. It, I'm sure, because there is a lot of nepotism in Italy, as you can imagine, but this is the proof that things can happen regardless of all the little machinations that can happen between cl behind closed doors. Yeah, the, 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 the only thing that I want to say is that um, we were free to do the movie that we wanted to. Uh, a lot of people that work in cinema have great idea, uh, ideas, but they, they cannot do that because uh, there are a lot of people who say, okay, this is wonderful, but we have to, you know, to fix it. Uh, for example, you cannot say this word at this moment, you cannot make people sing. We, I sing at the beginning, and then I sing with the lady, and a, a lot of uh, producers would have said, "Would have said, uh, is not a musical, you know, it's a drama. So please don't don't make people sing without any reasons. They are in the car. She sees the Holy Virgin. I mean, this, the Holy Virgin doesn't sing mm, gospels, you know. Please. I think Jesus wasn't blonde either. Uh, uh, no, yeah. Maybe was blonde. No, yeah. <laughs> Probably not, but uh, 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 yeah, the fact is is that uh, yeah is mm, you are free to do a lot of things when when you have your own money, and uh, and you have a lot of occasions that you don't have when you when you are rich and you have, because I I I, I had experience experiences with big productions, and uh, it's pretty different. You 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 are in a big machine that works perfectly. But if you go uh, on the other side for one second, they say, hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. You're, you're going in a direction that we don't like. Other, otherwise, we, we, we were perfectly free to do and say whatever we want. And, and I could go to the director 
and say he, to him, uh, listen, I, I want to do this in this scene. For example, the one in which I, I do this with, with my, I, I don't know. You bang your head, yeah. Yeah, to the coffin was not written. Because obviously, if you if you write in, in, on, on a screenplay, and then there's a guy who mm -hmm. start to do this on the coffin of his mother, what the hell is happening? You cannot do that. It's something that you, you're inside the movie, and so you understand that it's something that uh, it could be done. And, and it started by me. I mean, I, I was there, and I said, okay, I really need to do this. Please shut this. Then, before, if, after, if you don't want, you can erase that. That, but, and is one of the scenes that he he likes more. So it's it's pretty it's pretty useful to to have this kind of relationship with a 21 year director because he's he he, he listened to what we were saying. I just wanted to say to you that my grandparents came to this country. My grandmother was born four doors down from William Shakespeare's house. Wow. They came your age with your kind of passion. My grandfather started the first actor studio in LA. And it, there's a whole story. But I'm listening to your passion and your integrity. And I think you're going to go very far. <laughs> and I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you very much. You, you cannot imagine how great is this here and to hear this from you, really. Really, I, 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 I yeah, they, they say that we have to go. But uh, I, <laughs> really, I want to thank you. Would you have more budget, everybody? This was amazing, really. Thank you for coming. Have a nice rest of the night. Thank you.